What's up, what's up, friends? My name is Reverend Kimmy Bo, and today is the last Thursday of the month. So, guess what that means? It's Q&A day. And, um, I just want to apologize for the absence. Um, I was taking a break from the whole YouTube and, you know, just relaxing, chilling, planning, taking it easy. So... That's why there has been a very sufficient lack of videos, but I am prepared, I am recharged, I am going to put out these videos for you guys. Um, the video plan is three videos a week, which means we're going to have reviews on a Friday, we're going to have an overview on a Wednesday, and a TNT on a Tuesday. So look forward to that. Um, talking about those, I have some new hobby updates for you guys. Um, before we get into the questions, um, I have so many dolls to do that I will actually, I'm actually thinking of actually getting a camcorder and a tripod and doing top down so I can show you guys the process of how I repaint these dolls and also do a, um, commentary over it, you know, just say, um, uh, over voice. So... You know, you guys can chill, there's going to be some chill music going on. Well, I mean chill music, I mean my intro and repeat. Because, why not? And I'm going to show you guys how I actually repaint these dolls normally. And then what I'm going to do is, after a couple of those videos, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be actually showing you how I green stuff these dolls. You know, how I make these um, creations like Wolfie, which... Is going to be the first overview you will see from Wednesday next week. So I have a lot of dolls to repaint, you know, and I have a lot of dolls to review. Um, I have taken them out of the package to, uh, to save time. Um, I've already done a little bit of adjustment on one of them. But I have some Ever After High dolls I want to review for you guys. Uh, who they are, um, who are they the daughters of and information stuff like that so those will be coming to you guys starting from next week on Tuesday where it's gonna be episode episode I don't know I don't know which, I don't know which episode it's gonna be um, I'll get to that when I do but hobby update I'm doing great um, I've done I've got a lot of things done I have a lot of things planned for you guys so I'm looking forward to showing you guys how I actually paint these dolls without me having to, you know, actually explain and stuff. Um, but I will explain, I'll just explain with a voiceover. That was it, voiceover. So, um, life update. Life update is... Ugh, go away, Norton, I don't want to update. Jeez. Um, so. The, um... I don't know what I was going to do, but I'll probably kick myself here because I forgot. So, life update, actually that was it, life update, um, I've been doing pretty well, I've been, I am more relaxed, I'm getting some sleep now, um, I'm getting up, I'm moving about, I'm actually exercising now, I'm eating a lot more healthily and stuff, so. I'm good, you know, everything's fine, you know, I have my, I have my nerdy squad with me, you know, Dark Light Dreamer, Frost and Fist, the Nerd Knife, which used to be tattooed for you, you know, and the rest of the guys in the chat, including my one and only Kuja Hira, which is my fiance. So, I've been doing good, and I've been spending a lot of time with those guys, and all in all, it's been great. So. Enough about my I love about my life update here. Yeah, let's get to the questions you asked throughout the month. So, the first question I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna actually do um, Wolf Brother Mythos's Wolf Brother Wednesday question, and that was what is what what is your top five cartoons growing up? Um, the one top um, cartoon that I grew up with was Courage the Cowardly Dog. Which is ironic since he's coward. It was a good shot. Apart from that last episode. That last episode was a little fucked up. But 
I love Courage the Cowardly Dog. Um, that's one. Um, I grew up with The Simpsons. Um, I also grew up with... I grew up with Thunderbirds. Actually, no, that doesn't count as a cartoon. Um, um, so we'll exit that one. So, uh, Ed and Nelly, which was a great show. Um, two more. What's two more? Uh, um, Foster Home for Imaginary Friends. And, oh, it's gonna take so long to think. Ah, oh, I have four of them. Um, Oh yeah, and The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Those are my top five cartoons I, I grew up with. As you can tell, most of them are either, you know, imaginary friends, or just, you know, damn right effed up. <laughs> See what I grew up with as a child. <laughs> so. That was my top five cartoons. Um, so, uh, the questions that I got from the last Q&A, um, the first one comes from Frost and Fist Freak, and the question is, very cool Q&A, my, very, uh, very cool Q&A and awesome answers. Uh, question, if you had one of the following superpowers, fire bending, lightning, water bending, air bending, or earth, which... Would you pick and why? Remember, you can only choose one. Hergies. Oh, um, I think I would go more towards the water bending because you know how cool would it be, you know, to water bend like different shapes and you know, awesome stuff like that. You know, I, I, yeah, I would say water bending because you know you can destroy buildings with water and you know. You can put out fires with water. You know, what saves lives than putting out fire? And it's just a cool power that I would love to have. You know, I would love to, like, you know, do these, like, party tricks here where I say, I'm going to make this water hover. And say, no, you can't. Yes, I can. So, that is what uh, elemental superpower I would have. Thank you for your question, Freak. On to the next. So, the next question comes from Idik Bear 40 k Hey dude. Um, cool answers, Kiwi. You're already famous to us. Oh, oh, oh. Stop. <laughs> um, how much does one of these dolls cost, and what would you charge for one for one of special repaint? Um, it really depends on how much time I spend on it and how much the equipment I need for. You know, the actual, the actual repaint, for example, if I need to reboot it, you know, what doll would be perfect for that repaint. Um, so it really depends on the doll and what equipment I have. Normally, if I'm going for um, pounds, I would charge maybe about, uh, for custom, I would say either 70 pounds to 120 quid. Um, if I'm going American, it will be maybe $300 or about uh, $80, $90 or 100 I think was converted to like 70 I think. So about $100 to $300 um, if we're going American. But it really depends, for me it really depends on what I need. For that specific doll we paint, you know, obviously I have a lot of Citadel paints, but you know, maybe it needs a certain color, a certain shade, maybe a certain base, you know, and stuff. So it really depends on what you actually want and how much time is gonna, how much time is gonna, you know, take me and how much is actually gonna cost. So it depends. Uh, thank you for your question, Igbert. On to the next question. Sorry, I had a job cut there. Um, postman arrived. Um, so, the next question 
It's from Lily Life 4. Oh my god. <coughs> I need to get back into shape. <sighs> Have a drink? Alright. So, Lily Life 4 says and asks, Great video, Kiwi. Can't wait to see you for now. And eventually, you'll find a fantasy doll in paint videos. Um, Final Fantasy doll we paint our, I'm a little bit behind on. Um, so the FNAF dolls. So I will go back, see what the last FNAF video I was last on. Link it to you from that. So, I'm glad you're enjoying them. Question, is that a little bit piercing I see under your bottom lip? No. Yes it is. <laughs> If so, did it hurt and does it ever bother you? Like while eating, rubbing against your teeth or your gums? Your drawing you call is so cute and don't worry about Charlie Mythos. He dishes it all the time so he deserves every bit of mischief and Charlie in return. <laughs> oh bless his heart. <laughs> We're terrible friends. <laughs> but in answer to your question, um, I did my brow piercing by myself. So it did hurt a bit. I would say out of 1 to 10, 1 not being so painful and 10 being, oh my god. I would say it was about maybe a 6, maybe a 7. Um, but it did hurt. Uh, and does it bother you? Does it bother you like while eating or rubbing against your teeth or your gums? Um, you get used to it. Um, when I first got it, it did bother me a bit, you know. Um, it did bother me because there's like a, um, a flat, I'll show you. I mean, without breaking the ball this time. Hey. I know, how gross. So this is the bar, it's just a flat, you know, end where it just threads through the hole. And I have a quite large one. Because that was the, um, bar I had. Yeah, that was pretty much the bar I had, and uh, no, I cleaned it out. Oh. Yeah, nearly lost the ball. Um, no, I cleaned it out. You know, I would just put it in salt water, give it a little clean, and then put it back in. You know, so you know, it doesn't close up that quickly. You know, I've left this out for a whole day, and it didn't close up at all. But that's because it takes a while for for me for um, piercing holes to close. Um, but um, yeah, at first it used to bother me because mm. I apologize. Um, it used to bother me uh, when I first had it done because I was sore, and um, obviously I wasn't used to having you know a flat metal bar there. Um, but you get used to it over time, and um, while eating it was a little bit difficult because I was constantly putting my tongue underneath that little bar, underneath that little flat plate, to see if anything got in. Um, but other than that, you know, it doesn't bother me at all, you know, not now anyway. Uh, um, actually what I do is I'll um, pick up the bar with my um, bottom teeth, I pick up the plate. The bottom teeth, which gives this effect. Uh, so, um, it's just something to fiddle with, uh, really. <laughs> you know, when you're bored, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> it's not attractive. Um, although, I did have other piercings, so I had a nose piercing, I had two eyebrow piercings, I had an industrial piercing, I had uh, two holes in my ears, um, I used to have a septum as well. <laughs> So, um, I was, at that time, I was more into piercing as opposed to, um, tattooing, but I love my tattoos a lot more than I do my old piercings, you know, I don't even miss them, you know, the only thing I would not take out is this one, because this was my first piercing I ever did. And it hasn't caused me any, as much trouble as my eyebrows did, you know. Eyebrows every so often it'll bleed, because it was a healing, uh, my nose, um, I actually, um, accidentally, um, Mark called it and ripped, and it wasn't bleeding until I moved the bar, and then all of a sudden, pfft. um, septum, 
Uh, it was not fun. You know, because, like, you know, you have to do that every so often, you know, to move it. And um, I placed it in the wrong place, so it kept going. Um, my industrial, it, I mean, I waited two months for that thing to heal, and it didn't heal. I got impatient, so I just took it out. I'm just fine with my one little about piercing. It's adorable. I love it. Um, but other than that, it doesn't really bother me now. It used to, but it doesn't now. But thank you for your question, Lily Nightfall. Um, the next question comes from Darian. Um, so, um, if you... Excuse me, a AVG. I don't want to know about the updates anymore. I'm recording. Um, it's from Darian... Say Cushionado, I think. Yeah, Darian Cushionado, um, which is uh, Wolf Brother Mythos, is boy, uh, well, son. And I met him like maybe two weeks back, and he's an amazing dude. You know, he's awesome, and he's really good at League of Legends. Like, all of the Cushionados are. It's like, how? <laughs> um, so, Darian asks. Uh, he asked three questions. He asked, if or if, Sash, do you play 40k and what faction would you be? Um, I don't play just yet, but I am building up my army. Um, my faction is Dark Elder. And I am, um, I haven't painted my, um, uh, Cavalites yet, but, um, I will get on that as soon as possible. Um, I have played 40k before. And I, before I was on Necrons, now I'm on um, Dark Elder in courtesy <laughs> because uh, Dark Light Dreamer persuaded me that Dark Elder was amazing and it was pretty much my type. So, <laughs> you have Dark Light Dreamer to thank for that one. Uh, what do you do when, what do you do when not recording? Um, I just chill, watch videos, you know, try and catch up on um, YouTube videos that, you know, Fast and Fierce, Stuck Like Dreamer, and, um, The Nerd Life actually up to, up, upload. Um, I try to spend my time for, for, um, Dolby Painters, that are very small, um, and Dolby Painters in general. Um, but I do like, you know, to watch the, the odd, you know, bat rap and stuff. Sometimes I even watch uh, my fiancé's, um, videos, you know, just, just so I know, like, you know, because normally I'm just blasting music in my ear. Sometimes I can actually hear him, it depends. Uh, sister location, he's not talking to that at the moment. <laughs> um, I just chill, um, I do dolly paints in my time as well, which is why I have so many. Um, I just chill, I hobby, I exercise, and uh, I just I just chill out, rest, and uh, most of the time sleeping. What's Skyping, uh, you guys? Uh, what genres of music do you listen to, if any? Um, as you can tell by my intro, yeah, as you can tell by my intro, um, I listen, I do listen to a lot of like uh, classic rock, so like Metallica. Um, I do listen to a lot of Chop, uh, chop City. <laughs> Says I'm up and down. I do like the hard heavy. Um, yeah, I do like the hard heavy um, music, but I also like the softer side of music. So I like piano. Um, I do like the occasional classical music from time to time. Um, I do sometimes. It, it's very um. It's very rare, but I do, yeah, I do listen to um, some of the pop um, music, depending if it's actually good. Um, it's guilty pressure of mine. Um, so I listen to a variety, um, but m the main one I listen to is uh, Metallica, and because uh, it's my favourite, and that's what my intro is based from is the sound from Metallica. So, thank you for your question, Darian. I look forward to when you do start up your YouTube channel because I'm very excited about that. And uh, you, just just to know you have at least one or a few subscribers when you start. The same goes to you, Lily. Uh, you already ha you already have us supporting you. Um, so the next person on my list is That Earth Life. Also used to be tattoo for you, but now is the nerd life. And good old Richard, he's 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 like the best. I love him to bits. So he asks, what two modern monsters should have should have a monster high equivalent? Um, I'll say this now. Um, 
uh, Predator from uh, yeah, so Predator I think from no, not Alien. Uh, Predator Two or maybe like the first Predator because he's just so cool looking. Like you, c you can't. You, I would love for Mattel to make a monster I agree with another Predator and also the Devil. You know how awesome it will be for a Devil doll. You know how like many repaints and different monsters you can create out of just one Devil doll. So yeah, the Devil, like a Devil daughter and the Predator daughter, that would be cool. So that's pretty much the two modern monsters that that should have a Monster High equivalent. Um, and the last question comes from Wolf Brother Mythos. And he asks, what is a Marvel hero you would prefer from a doll? And one DC hero you will prefer from a doll? For my doll, no cheating. If you have already done any heroes before, new ones. I have. I haven't done heroes. Um, it's not really my forte. Um, I like doing monsters with different color skins. Um, I would do villains, but I uh, maybe. Um, but I haven't really done any heroes, so um, this one should be quite awesome. Um, a Marvel hero I would prefer from a doll is Deadpool. Cause come on, Deadpool. And one DC hero I'll prefer from a doll. I would do. I'd do Batman. Um, they'll all both be um gender bends. So a female doll Deadpool and a female doll Batman. Um, uh, which will be kind of cool. I I would love to do that. It's actually, to be honest, that could be future projects for me. Um, but yeah, I would do Deadpool, female into a doll because um, I don't would I wouldn't actually have to um, put in um, fabric or well, maybe I could but um, I wouldn't have to do in fabric I would just have to paint it on which will be easier and I'll do Batman female Batman which will be kind of Batgirl but um, not necessarily it'll be a Batman version of it'll be a female version of Batman which wouldn't be Batgirl I hope. <laughs> uh, so that is all the questions I have for this Q and A. Um, if you have, if you have questions, comment down below your questions. They will all get saved into a file for me to do next month. Um, as usual, you guys have a month to ask your questions. Um, you can put in questions on any of the videos. I'm not going to specifically like put it onto. Just the Q&A videos, you can ask questions in any of my videos, even if it's, even if it's doll repaint. There are any questions for doll repaintings, or, uh, you know, what kind of dolls do I prefer, or something like that. Um, comment down below on any of my videos, and if it's a question, I'll put it in my um, little Q&A file, file, and I will answer them for you. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this video, I enjoyed making it, and as always, I will see you. In the next Dolby Play video, stay plastic. Hi, before I go, um, I had just this realization that I forgot a question. Um, I forgot Dark Knight Dreamer's question, I forgot to do my shadows as well. Um, so Dark Knight Dreamer asks, um, who and what could you see being your persona and why? Um, I would say that um, a centaur would kind of match um, either a centaur or a hydra, um, because obviously with a hydra there's multiple heads and I do have, you know, multiple sides of me, you know, I have a goofy side, I have a serious side, you know, I have... An angry side, sad side, but I also have like a crazy side. Um, but I think I'll go more with the Hydra because it says more that I I can you know be you know more than one person if I have to, or I have multiple heads. You know I could be serious with one person, sad with another person, but incredibly happy with another person. So I would say to match mine, it will be a Hydra Dragon because Hydra Dragons. 
yeah. Um, so, uh, thank you for your question, Dark Light Dreamer, and I look forward to the next video you put out. Um, I'm so behind on, it, uh, on University Eagles, I'm so sorry. Uh, but, um, yeah, um, talking about Dark Light Dreamer, I want to do my shout outs for this week, this month. Um, I want to give a shout out to Frost and Fist, uh, The Nerd Life Richard, and Dark Light Dreamer and Kuja Hira. Um, those guys are the best. They are awesome and they are very good. So, let's do this again. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Stay plastic.